Hello everyone, welcome back. I've missed you guys. I've been busy with the house. I found a house and we put an offer on it. It's going through inspection and all that kind of crazy stuff. So I've missed you guys and I wanted to make a video that was simple. Um, and it is very simple. It's kind of like another um, cut list type envelope that I had done before, except I switched the direction, but I still thought it was a fun idea and I wanted to share it. So if you guys remember, I had done one, but it had the pocket in the back. This one, I kind of left it because I feel like it's almost like a little flip book. So you have this, like, do you remember we had this pocket in the back? So all I really did was flip it. And I don't, I think I might've changed my measurements, but I can't remember. I kind of just did this in my room. Um, and I made this little embellishment and I wanted to make just a real quick embellishment with you guys because I had said previously I wanted to, but, um, you know, it's just a fun little way to do it. And it you can, it could be like a flip envelope. You could put pictures here too, plus whatever you want inside, like a gift card. And I did it in two sizes for you so that um, you can get some ideas. Like, especially, you know, the tea is a perfect item for me. I feel like that's why I always put tea in my things, but it just gives you an idea of like what you can do. Like if you're doing a tea swap and you have some photos, you could do that. You could even put like, your photos here when they're opening it so you have and then like a gift card so you have like you know just sharing some memories and also gifting so easy peasy this is going to be with a six by six sheet of paper and a four by six so two of them so hold on i'm going to quickly do this i got so much going on you guys but i was like okay it's been almost a week um so hold on I've got two six by six, oh, an avalanche over here, two six by six papers. All right, it does not have to be double sided. I am using my hip kit. Um, these were, I believe, my March, but uh, it doesn't matter if it's double sided, um, okay, because inside it's going to be white. That's all, that's the only difference, okay? So just kind of pick which one you want your lid to be, which one you want your bottom to be. Um, I guess I'm going to make this my, I think I'm going to get this my lid. So for your lid, we're going to take anywhere on the six by six, really. It's just the direction of your paper and we're going to score it at two inches. You can point around this or leave it. I'm just going to leave mine and that's going to be our top portion. Pretty easy. And it's basically what we had done before. And for the bottom, we're gonna score it at three inches. So I want my paper, I want my yellow to show. So, all right, so three inches. And I'm gonna put a little notch in here. And I'm just gonna paste it on there. Sorry, I've got marker all over me. So yeah, it's been pretty crazy, you guys. Honestly, I, I've been wanting to come in here and I have other things to do. You know, let's just say it's difficult when your spouse is not in the same country as you and you're trying to plan things, <laughs> like buying a house. So, um, okay, just gluing those three pieces. Remember to leave the top on. I almost thought, okay, maybe I'll just do a live again. So I might do that this weekend. What do you guys think? Maybe like, let me think. What's tomorrow? Saturday? Maybe Sunday. Maybe I might come in here on Sunday and do like something. Maybe we could do something like this. So here we go. And that's pretty easy, right? And then I'm going to take... Oh my goodness, I really uh, can't find anything on my desk. I had it. And I hope my dog's not going through the trash again, you guys. Hold on, let me straighten this. So on top of all of this going on, my alternator on my car died. And what else happened? Oh, my um, we have a glass top stove and it broke. I cracked it. 
So this is gonna be smaller than the one I used because I can't find my other punch. Let me see how this looks. Is it gonna look weird? No, it still looks okay. So I'm just taking my little hole punch here. Of course, this always is optional. And I'm going to pop that in the middle. Again, if you don't have an eyelet punch, you can always use your brads or just a sticker like I'm gonna use with the other one. That's what I wanted to show you too, so I can show you two ways to do it. So there's that, but isn't that beautiful? I love it in the front because I just like that you can make this like, sorry, I'm saying like so much. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I like that you can do this just because it it's just like a flip book but you open it um, and this is just a pretty tag I kind of wanted to stick on there just to switch it up a little bit so I've got this here and what did I do here sometimes I have no idea what I'm doing because I do it so much Show you just a quick embellishment so I cut out two of these little hex shapes grab some foam tape that's how I do my embellishments you know I'm gonna get this sequin off today I keep noticing when I film it's sticking to it and I'm like I need to get that off okay the windows this way so I'm just adding foam tape and kind of just sticking it on there you could add a die cut you could add a sticker I'm going to add whatever I can find on my desk. <laughs> so I've got these here. I saw this and I wanted to use it. So let's see. That is going to go perfect. And I think I'm going to use a lettering and just say, because it kind of took up a lot of room. So as you can see here, I threaded it. I ran it through my machine before I actually did this. So we can do something like hi, which, oh my goodness, wait a minute, there's lettering on there. Hold on, I'm not gonna use that on there because I just realized that it says something, so let me grab something else. If there were no wording on there, was no wording on there, then I would have um, used it. I guess I'll use a jummy. And I usually do two different colors just because I like the way they look. But that's just a simple way you can do your embellishment. I don't do anything, I swear. I do this in all my embellishments. I just layer them and do them that way. And I'm gonna put mine on with, with some foam tape so they can just take it off easy, especially if you're mailing this. And then... strip here which I think this might be my last one I just looked in my drawer and I kind of place it right there so that I can close it here you can add dyes or I feel like this camera looks cute here and just fun And I love these stickers because I like that you can write something and describe it. Do I have room in here? I might stick this on this side. No, because that's there. Maybe even here, and then you could have a little picture there. But I kind of want it in the middle. Okay, maybe I'll put it here. And then I can put a picture. So I just did a little different than the other one. So that's just to give you some idea. And then you can just stick a tag in or whatever you're sticking in. Gift card, money, a check. 
and just put that on there. You could obviously go all out and decorate this, um, you know, with little dies too in the front. Like that. But, you know, two different fun ideas. And then let me do a small one real quick. It's same exact measurement, it's just a four by six paper. So, goodness, you guys, I'm doing, I'm working on multiple projects. So I have, um, literally can't find my papers. Bear with me. Now that I'm editing, I think I can forward this part. So hopefully I can forward this without you guys watching this. Where in the world did I put it? Okay, I can't find my paper, so I'm gonna have to cut them. Sorry. So, four by six. Two four by sixes. I think this is already six. So there's a four by six. And here's another four by six. it down so four by six two of them again the same thing two inches for the lid and three inches for the bottom so I want this to go this is gonna be my lid um, two inches and this is gonna be the bottom and this is gonna be at three inches like this and we're going to do the same thing but aren't these fun they're just easy and like fun and simple it's just like the other ones it's just the other way so the other envelopes we made I believe they went like this and went back so all I did was take it and flip it in the front and I love it it just looks so nice because it gives you that extra um I guess if you don't need the pocket it gives you that extra like you know flat there I'm going to put that down I love these windows aren't they gorgeous so it's going to look like that and like that I'm just going to make this nice and even I'm gonna stick a little picture in here just so you can see something. And I'm gonna use lettering on this because this is so, um, like I didn't use a busy, well it is busy, but not busy the way some of the flowers are. So in that instance, you could write like, I'm gonna write, Mail. I hope I think I went too far in. I'm trying hard here. Let's see if I can get that L on. JKL. Sometimes I have to say the alphabet to myself. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Perfect. So there's that. 
It always makes me happy when I don't have to peel things <laughs> while I'm filming. So this middle thing here, I think that would be cute there. I was gonna use a little jemmy, but that's kind of cute. And then inside, what did I do inside? Oh, I just had that. So if you're gonna make the tea, you could do that. And now I can use my sticker that I want to use in the middle. So right here. So you could also put this in your journals, your mini albums, like, cause all you'd have to do is put an adhesive here. So if you want it to be kind of like interactive, you could, um, you know, stick something on the back and then when they open it, they have these extra little things and pockets. You could even put a little pocket down there if you want to. But if you're doing tea, like, and you don't want to stick it here, I would get one of the little glue dots and stick this on it and put it in the back and then it will hold it. So you have a little bit of extra room and then you have that. And, or, and if you don't have the um, Velcro strips, like I ran out for instance, you could use twine to seal it and that's really fun too. I'll show you what that looks like. I think I cut this too short, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Yeah, I kind of did cut it short. I wish this was a little bit longer, and that's okay. So don't feel that you need the Velcro, okay? You don't have to run out and be like, I have to do it that way. <laughs> you don't have to do it that way. But look at all these fun different ways that you can make these envelopes. They're so colorful, and I just love how they came out. And I wanted to give you guys like a quick little easy tutorial again and use up some more of our six by six papers. So I hope you guys liked it, and I'll try to be back soon, okay? I am definitely going to try to aim for Sunday-ish, okay? Maybe early, like between 10 and 12. So if you guys want, be here then, okay? All right, guys. Thank you.